What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Want to give you guys this quick video, quick update. So, Floyd Mayweather opened his gym up to Adrian the Problem Broner. I did a story on that. Make sure you check those videos. He is fighting this weekend, Adrian Broner, June 20th versus Sean Porter. Great fight. And it was the media day for Broner Porter and Mayweather. The clip you've seen at the beginning, he had both guys in his gym. They're just doing the standard media day procedures, interviewing Broner, Porter, um, some people got Mayweather, obviously, still the active fighter. And one thing he said that was interesting, the link will be in the description in case you want to actually see it. It's a quick 15-second clip. Mayweather says, I read that Oscar De La Hoya is trying to come back to the sport of boxing. And he's saying we can mix it up. He said, I'll do a rematch. He said he wanted a rematch. Let's rematch at 154. So I was thinking about it, and I want to know what you guys think about Mayweather versus Oscar De La Hoya Part 2 if they were to rematch. Oscar did say he was coming back or willing to come back or keeps thinking about coming back. He also mentioned Triple G. I just, I don't see him fighting Triple G. That's just me personally. At least if he fought Mayweather, he would still have a size advantage. I've seen some recent pictures of Oscar De La Hoya. He's definitely looking pretty big and bulked up and in shape again. So I was thinking about it and it's really not bad because Mayweather's at a point where Amir Khan was a potential likely candidate, and he still might be. However, he didn't look to impress versus Chris Algieri. He just didn't impress people with his performance. So that fight kind of, if, if he looked like he did versus Devin Alexander, people probably wouldn't complain. But he went in with Chris Algieri off a loss coming up in weight, and he didn't look spectacular, and he actually kind of went life or death tooth and nail with him. So that's an option for him. However, I just really don't know how well that sells. But Oscar De La Hoya has a fan base. It's an intriguing story since they've already fought and it would be a rematch. I definitely think they can spin it and sell it. I don't know how serious Oscar De La Hoya is after seven years out of the sport that could take his toll on his body. He's also let his self balloon up and weight and then, you know, what I mean, just recently got back in shape. So I don't know how this would play out. But the storyline and in terms of the fact that Mayweather, he already beat his boogeyman, which is Pacquiao. And there's not too many guys who are just at that echelon of, of sellers. I really think Canelo Cotto will happen at the fourth quarter of this particular year. So that excludes rematches with Cotto and Canelo, at least for the moment for Mayweather. So maybe De La Hoya. It's either De La Hoya, Kel Brooks likely facing Brandon Rios, Mir Khan. Like I said, Mayweather's running out of options that make sense, that are lucrative. Some people say, oh, Keith Thurman, that's a good fight. But Keith Thurman is a great fighter. He just doesn't have the brand. And I'm, I'm being real. I'm not making excuses. I think it's a good fight. However, I don't know if Mayweather would choose someone like that because he doesn't have necessarily the, the brand that's big that'll make it a, a pay-per-view type of event. But... It could be a challenging fight and a good fight. And anyway, Keith Thurman's fighting Luis Colazzo next month, I believe. So either way, I don't think Keith Thurman would be ready for September. Let me know what you guys think. Mayweather versus De La Hoya. Would you entertain a rematch? Do you think that's a logical fight? The first fight landed and ended in a split decision. So maybe clear the air and have more of a decisive victory. How much credit would you give since Mayweather has been active and De La Hoya hasn't fought since the Pacquiao loss seven years ago? Drop me a comment. Let me know if you think this is serious. If De La Hoya would take Floyd on this offer, drop me those comments. Make sure you like my video as always. Hey, comment and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. No, I feel confident because I'm the best player in the world. Is that easy? Is that simple? Man, these niggas suck. I should have never left Miami. I had bad bitches and all types of shit around me. I'm scoring 40 points a game, getting fouled. I cut the side of my fucking head on that camera. Man, why y'all ain't trying to help me when Steph Curry started getting hot and shooting lights out? Where was Delhi? He wasn't even jumping on balls like he was the last game. No homo. Hey, Broner, I'm gonna need you to do this for Cleveland. Ah, uh, you know I'm gonna beat Sean Porter ass. I'm gonna do it for Cleveland. Hey, be about Bron. All right, then, peace out. I try to give you scrubs another chance. Sorry, LeBron. Damn it, Delhi, you keep letting Curry dog you like that. You're gonna be working at a Delhi, serving me a hot pastrami on rye, you teen wolf looking bastard.